Hey, Sonny James here from Serato. By now you should have Serato DJ Pro up and running with your music library. In previous videos, we've covered how to use cue points and loops, as well as how to use the program both in practice mode and connected to hardware. In this video, we'll cover using the sampler to quickly trigger sounds without having to unload any of your playing decks. Many DJs like to use the sampler for triggering DJ drops, for transition effects, loops, one hits, and more. If you want to use one-shot samples like kicks, snares, and hi-hats, you can even finger drum along to the track that's playing. To get started, simply open the sampler by pressing the air horn symbol above the left deck. This will open the sampler panel on the screen directly below the playing decks. It has eight sample slots and four banks to load samples, drops, and loops into. To load a sample into a slot on the sampler, you can drag and drop sounds from your library. And if you don't already have a set of samples, we can help you get a head start with a free sample pack available for download on serato.com. I prefer to keep my samples organized in a crate so I can drag and drop from one place. In Serato DJ Pro, I'm going to create a sampler crate and call it SP8. I'll drag my folders of sounds in from my laptop like this. Now I'll drag those new crates under the SP8 parent crate to have them operate as subcrates. I have the corresponding letters A, B, C, and D to match my sample banks in the program. Now I'll just drag the sounds into the slots I'd like them to go in. Once you have the samples loaded into the slots in the bank, you can trigger them a couple different ways. First off, if you're using Serato Play without hardware plugged in, you'll be able to see your sampler options. To trigger each of the sample slots on your computer keyboard, use the eight keys on your bottom row right above the spacebar. Let's use the Hercules DJ Impulse 500 and explore this feature when connected to hardware. So here on the controller, I'm going to press the sampler button and now I have access to my samples. This will be a similar workflow with pretty much any DJ hardware that has performance pads. I can also assign the sampler output to any channel I choose, but assigning it to master will ensure my samples play even if I have both channel faders down. Some devices have a dedicated knob for the sampler volume, in which case you could assign the sampler to an auxiliary channel and control it there. The top row will control the first four sample slots, and the bottom will control the second four. You can control the volume of each sample by using the mouse to adjust the gain level. Pressing the sample settings cogwheel will allow me to adjust how the sample plays when I trigger it. I can decrease or increase the volume for each sound. I can also decide from which point I'd like the sample to begin playing. This is helpful for setting cue points precisely where I'd like the sample to start playing. Pressing here where it says start will show me any cue point saved to the audio file and allow me to select it as a start point. And if you have a pitch and time DJ license, then this setup menu also allows you to turn it on and off, as well as mute and use pitch bend. Once we close the setup panel, there are a couple additional options on the sample slots. For instance, you can also control playing modes from trigger mode, hold mode, and start stop mode. There's also the ability to auto-repeat and even use sync, which is helpful when loading a longer piece of music into a slot. For example, you can drag loops from the playing deck into the sampler slot and sync it with tracks that are playing in the decks, or to other loops in the remaining sampler slots. Finally, when you're making a crate of samples, you can organize them in the order that you want them to be in by number. Then, when you select all the samples and drag them into the first slot of the sampler, they'll all load in the same order. Once you're happy with how you've set up your sampler, you can click the arrow here to minimize or change the sampler view to slim view mode and preserve some of your screen space for viewing the library, history, and more. Using the sampler as a tool in my DJ sets has been essential for how I like to mix in clubs, on stages, live streams, and on the radio. Try incorporating this feature to add even more flavor to how you present music. And as always, be sure to visit serato.com for more info.